A frequent question I get is which editing software should I learn to get jobs? Premiere Pro, DaVinci Resolve, Final Cut, or Avid? The answer is not as straightforward as many make it out to be. I've worked professionally with all these video editing tools on all kinds of projects, from big to small and everything in between. To figure out the best choice for you, you need to think about what you want to do. What kind of projects do you want to work on? Are you ready for a job right now? Or are you still honing your skills in video editing? Also, we have to imagine what the editing world will look like in five years. So let's unpack all of this and help you decide what editing software is best for you. I wanna say thanks to Etched Memories for sparking the idea for this video because it's a juicy topic. And while it's impossible to predict the future with certainty, here are the top editing software options that have a strong record for updates and improvements and are currently the most popular or are shifting to becoming popular. I started with Media Composer years and years ago when there really wasn't an option for anything else professionally in the digital space but I haven't really used it in the last few years. Even still, it's a long-standing industry standard for professional film and television editing. Avid Media Composer is used by many of the top studios and production houses. The reason it's a standard is because it's a huge investment for those studios. So they stick with it as it would be too expensive to make a complete switch to a new system. But it works and it's very reliable. And it has a tight integration with Pro Tools, so it makes easy work of high-end productions. Though Avid does have a steep learning curve, but offers very powerful features and collaborative workflow. So if you're aiming to work on high-end film and TV production, learning Avid Media Composer would be your best bet. But expect to be an assistant editor for a long, long time. Just saying. Yes, Final Cut has a strong track record of improvements. Just look back to the past decade and see where we started to where we are now. It just feels like there's been a slowdown because of how fast Resolve has been blazing ahead every year since 2018. And during the 2000s, Final Cut Pro up to Final Cut 7 was essentially the king of post-production for many smaller video production companies and was essentially what Creative Cloud is now, a full suite of post-production tools. And Final Cut Studio dominated until Final Cut 10. Ever since Apple bought Final Cut from Macromedia, it knew that it needed a complete rewrite of the code to be able to keep up with where they saw technology heading. But after a full decade of improvements, Final Cut is a popular choice for video editors using macOS. It has a mostly intuitive user interface. It does have advanced features once you get past the seeming simplicity. It has well-documented strong performance on Apple hardware since both the software and hardware are made by Apple. And while it's true that it's not as collaborative as other apps on this list, it does have ease of use and speed where it scores higher than the rest of the apps. And it has found a really solid place for solo editors or one or two person video production companies, such as news gathering, weddings, and many, many YouTubers. It is really hard to beat how fast Final Cut can be for that kind of workflow. Quick in and out production or as I use it, I do my radio edit and then export to DaVinci Resolve to finesse the color, add effects and to finish, or prep it to hand off to someone else, like a colorist or another editor. So if you're a one person band, Final Cut is hard to beat for the speed and the easy learning curve. Premiere Pro, or as I like to call it, Final Cut 8, is a very powerful, popular video editing software used by professionals and hobbyists alike. It's part of the bigger Adobe Creative Cloud suite, which offers solid integration with After Effects, Photoshop, Audition, and Illustrator. Premiere Pro, unlike Final Cut, is available natively on Windows and Mac OS. But the biggest downside to it is that it's a 20-year-old code that is sorely in need of a complete rewrite, like Final Cut Pro did to get the most out of the computer power available today. Frustrations aside, Premiere is by far the leader when it comes to getting a job right now. If you know how to navigate the app, you will find many opportunities for editing jobs with creative agencies, video production companies that focus on medium to large businesses, especially in the corporate space and training. Premiere is great with collaborative workflows with other artists that use After Effects, Photoshop, and Illustrator. Also, many of those corporate clients ask for collective project files at the end of the project so they can archive it and tweak it later if they want. So if you want a job right now, Premiere Pro is the app to master, 
as it's still the one that is requested the most on applications. I've said this before and I'll see it again. DaVinci Resolve is coming to eat Adobe's lunch. And while it is known for its exceptional color grading capabilities, Resolve has in the last few years evolved into a full-fledged editing monster with a whole suite of comprehensive features. It is also available on Windows, Mac OS, and Linux, and has a free version that blows Premiere out of the water, making it accessible for even the most budget-minded editor. With every new release, Resolve is gaining popularity among professionals and is being widely used in the film and television industry. But it's only at the beginning and just starting to gain traction. And while currently most job applications still prefer Premiere Pro experience, there is a shift happening. Many people that have been using Resolve and are creating buzz around their work will be the ones that open up agencies and production companies in the coming years. And their requirement will preference DaVinci Resolve over Premiere Pro. But here's the thing. DaVinci Resolve is so feature packed that you need to be very specific on what you can do with it. Be very clear with your strengths. Don't just say, I know DaVinci Resolve. Are you good at editing, coloring, motion graphics, visual effects, audio mixing? It's good to have a basic understanding of the whole application, but don't pretend to know all of them and understand what to do. You will be found out so fast and that's not a good look. But if you're still honing your skills and want to know where the industry is starting to lean towards, your best bet is DaVinci Resolve. And unless something drastic happens in the next few years, DaVinci Resolve will be the dominant player in five years. I made a whole video on this very topic. The link is in the description. Now, while learning one of these widely used software options will increase your chances of being future-proof, it's important to stay adaptable and be prepared to learn new tools as the industry evolves. More importantly, developing a strong understanding of video editing techniques and storytelling skills is essential. In this video, I go over the most important editing skills and techniques you need to learn to ensure that you get the gig, regardless of which app you use, as these skills are transferable across platforms. Also, I live stream on my second channel where I deep dive on the creative process as well as freelance financials. So make sure you check that out. As always, thanks for watching.